So we're here with Jack today. He's uh, about nine years old, almost 10, and he came in today because he has a wound above his left eye. Now you can see here um, that his eyelids are showing, his third eyelids, and that's because he was given a medicine to help relax him. But here you can see the wound above the left eye, and we're gonna evaluate this carefully because we wanna make sure that his eye is not scratched. First things we're gonna do is we're gonna give him an eye drop called atropine. Now what this drop does is it opens up his eye a bit so that we can make sure that we evaluate the eye as well as possible. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to perform what's called a fluorescein eye stain. Now the purpose of this is to make sure that we stain the surface of the eye, the cornea, to make sure we see if there's any scratches. So I'm gonna use a sterile eye wash and I'm gonna apply a drop of this in his eye. Okay. Might jump a little bit because it's a Good little bit boy. cold, but it doesn't hurt him. So now you can see uh, that there's a bright yellow here around his eyes, and we're going to continue to wash out his Good eyes boy. a little bit. Good boy. Okay. Now what we're going to use is a woods lamp. This is a light that's going to help us pick up anything abnormal on the surface of the eye. And you can see that the eye does glow a bit, but what we're looking for is anything that glows yellow on the surface of the eye, because the cornea is made up of layers, kind of like an onion. And if that superficial layer is injured, they can develop an ulcer, which needs medicine. Okay. So now we've proven by using that light that there's no ulcer on that eye, even though there was a wound right near the eye. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a medicine, an antibiotic injection that's gonna last okay. for two weeks to help clear up the wound. That way you don't have to chase him around with pills or liquid and that's all it takes.